Hello there, everybody. It's Mr. Cherry from Team Cherry Corp. How's it going, everybody? I've been a while. I'm sorry. I've been busy like crazy. Finally got some time to myself, so I figured, well, I've been promising Deus Ex. Let's do Deus Ex. So we're going to play some Deus Ex. We're going to start a brand new game. Um, let's see. <clears throat> let's go ahead and give me a challenge. Just give me a challenge, you know? I am playing without headphones right now, so I can't hear anything really, so um, there's something going on and I can't hear it, I'm sorry. Um, sorry for the dog in the background, whenever I start talking loudly he likes to get upset because that's what they do, and now they're playing, so you may hear a little fuss in the background, I am sorry about that. But let's go ahead, we'll jump right into this uh, very interesting concept, very interesting story. I think this game is actually fantastic. Um, and honestly, it seems kind of under the radar to some people. Like, some people, when they played it, they really, really liked it. <clears throat> some people, like, fans of it, were, like, waiting for this game to come out. And honestly, I didn't really know what I thought of it when I first heard of it. Uh, it wasn't until I actually rented it from Gamefly and started playing it, I started realizing that this game really is good. It's really... It's nothing... I can't say it's, like, something, like, revolutionary or anything like that. It's more of uh, just different, and the story is unique. It's all about the human emotion. They did a good job on that. Um, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and skip the cutscene. Uh, if you guys want to see cutscenes, you're gonna have to go find them somewhere else. Um, the only reason I want to go ahead and uh, skip that is because I'm not a big fan of listening to it all day uh, or watching it right now because I can't even listen to it anyways with headphones. But the story is pretty interesting. Um, there's these augmentations on humans, and augmentations like uh, metal, you know, cybernetic stuff, like eye cybernetic things on a human body. So kind of like a cyborg, if you will. And it just makes things interesting. <clears throat> and this is your girlfriend, and she works for this cybernetics company. And there's a bunch of people that protest against it, thinking it's terrible, it's not something you should be doing, well, you found it. while these guys support Nothing. it because of the just revolutionary it. things you can do with it, and there's it's just kind of like know. a struggle between well, the, you know, so much, the natural progression of human towards uh, a, a, a progression yourselves, or evolution. Forcing evolution instead of letting it happen on its own. So basically, that's what the, the theme of this story is, and it does it very well. I think it's a very well-developed uh, game. It runs very well, really, and it, it sets rules for you in the game. And the rules, you you understand quickly. You understand how the AI works. You understand how the cover works. You understand how stealth works. You understand how all that works. And it, 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 it's pretty easy. You know, you sit down and you just kind of play it. And the more you play, the more fun it gets because the more you realize uh, how things work in the in the in the world. And there's different paths, there's different ways uh, to get past certain things. Like, you could actually go throughout this whole game probably without killing a single person. I think that's actually an achievement, aside from bosses. That was. It seemed like the bosses were super tacked on, but um, this game is a lot of fun. I'm just going to go ahead and play through it for you guys, and hopefully get through these story sequences quickly, because they're the most boring parts, in my opinion. Um, but I've already seen them before. They're nothing all that new, so, you know. Maybe to someone that hasn't seen it, it's interesting. Also, a fun fact, the art style. You notice, like, everything has kind of a yellow tint. Um, they actually took that straight from medieval um, art. Like, that's supposed to be, like, a common theme in medieval art. Um, so, it's actually just a lot of medieval themes. Like, see her collar? It looks kind of like a, a British uh, kind of collar thing that they used to wear. So, there's a lot of themes from the from the uh, renaissance and uh, not the renaissance but the medieval times in this game a lot of a lot of common themes uh, so it's very interesting it's very unique of a game i think and i think it kind of went under the radar like at first when it came out people were just talking mad about it they loved it loved it loved it and all of a sudden it just kind of disappeared because Skyrim came out, and everyone loves Skyrim. Skyrim, Skyrim now. It's like everything about Skyrim. And I'm sorry, Skyrim is fun. I like it, but it's not as good as this, in my opinion. I thought this game was much more unique and, and better. Skyrim, yeah, it had that open world feel, but it didn't have the structure this game has. And I enjoy the structure of this game. I enjoy the getting through levels and feeling like you're actually progressing through something instead of doing a quest and moving on to the next. I mean, I've done that enough by playing World of Warcraft. I think uh, anyone that's played World of Warcraft for an extensive period of time, I've played it for at least five years now, um, 
they know that feeling, and, you know, Skyrim isn't anything super new. I mean, sure, it's a great-looking game, it's beautiful graphics, has a good open world, and a lot of it is very, very well done. I'll give Skyrim that. Skyrim is a very good game. But I, I, I don't know, when it comes to personal preference, I like this kind of game where it's an RPG, but it's more straightforward. Like uh, Dark Souls, I really like Dark Souls. That was kind of straightforward too, it wasn't very open-worldy. And it's not that I have anything against open worlds, it's just that I always get lost in open worlds in the sense that I always get lost in the quest line. And the story means less and less to me the more I do it. Oh, this guy's a prick. But uh, that's just how it works, you know, for me. And uh, I, I always get lost in the story and I, I tend not to care like the Dragonborn story. I hate it in, in uh, Skyrim. I wanted to like it. Did I? But I didn't like that quest line. Like, I like all the side quests. The, the Dragonborn one, or the main one. This wasn't all that interesting to me. It's like, oh, okay, that's that's cool. <laughs> I mean, literally, that's all I had to say to that. Like, oh, that that's cool, I guess. That's really not a good thing for a first impression, I think. But it's okay. I and mean, everyone has their preferences. Everyone prefers one game to another. Just like uh, some people like Call of Duty and some people like uh, or Battlefield. So, there you go. Speaking of Call of Duty, um, Black Ops 2 was announced, they had a little trailer for it, I'm sure most of you who like Call of Duty have seen it by now. Um, tell me your impressions about that in the comments below, I've been kind of interested in it myself. Um, I saw it, and I know zombies are coming back, which is definitely a plus. I saw it and I was kind of like, huh, future, huh? I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but I heard what they're doing to the online. They're trying to make it more competitive and more accessible. Now that is where I have my interest. I love competitive atmosphere. I love it when the game feels more balanced. That's why I hated, absolutely hated, Modern Warfare 3 online. That's why you never see me done a video, because all it does is that game just makes me mad when I play it. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say right now, if they make dedicated servers, it's gonna be a day one buy, uh, in my opinion. I think it's gonna be really good, because I like Call of Duty, but I don't like the, the lag compensation it has. I think a lot of people can agree with me on that. And I hate the spawning in Modern Warfare 3. Um, like, this is weird. But anyways, enough about Modern Warfare 3 and whatever else. Let's continue on this game. Um, looks like we're being sec uh, security breached by something. So we need to go ahead and neutralize the situation as a security chief of this company. So this guy is just telling me all about it. And my phone is going off. So apologize, old school Capcom theme. Thumbs up for the old school Capcom theme. Let me go ahead and check the phone here. Um, you know it's sad. I don't remember the thing. I think it's 0450 or something like that. I don't remember. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead. Is there a way to cheat? Shoot, I, I don't remember what he said. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'll use your elevator in a minute. What's that? Oh, I can't look at it. Hurry up, Adam. Oh, there it is. 0451. Okay. See, I don't have headphones on, so I can't hear what they're saying. So, do forgive me if something happens and I'm not hearing it correctly. Because I guess... I don't know, I'm lazy and I don't want to go grab my headphones right now, so I'm just going to play with Where's sound. Where's so, let's Mitch? see here. Word in yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microcam labs. I think she's running. Sorry, my girlfriend's going out on a plane for the first time to go to her brother's graduation in Iowa. She's freaking out, so I have to respond. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening. So then we have to help her calm down before she boards. She's just about to board. Alright, <clears throat> so now we got a gun. Now we're pretty much let loose in this world. And we get to kind of see what's going on. Sorry about any frame rate drops here and there. Um, when it comes to the... Uh, recording and actually playing a game that has somewhat of high graphics it can be kind of difficult to keep it up like Skyrim when I was recording that earlier um, it was kind of jumpy here and there and it wasn't because uh, Skyrim plays crappy on my computer it plays wonderful on my computer my computer is very very high-end and it's just really uh, the fraps coming out and you know it's just how fraps always works well this guy this guy's gonna get hurt ouch don't kill him, he's a scientist! No! Eh, whatever. Okay. How do I move objects? Some objects. I just want to know the button. E? Okay. Get out of here. Stupid button. There we go. Alright. Now we're heading into the vents. One of the nicest part about this game is how many multiple, in how open-ended it is in the sense that you can get through an area in so many different ways and I love it. I think that's why I like this game a lot is because of that. 
I don't think a lot of games actually do that. Like, they don't have a, um, a way to get through a level in multiple ways. Like, you just kind of have the one way, and then you're kind of stuck. Okay, let's see here. What's going on? Alright, we're making through here just fine, it seems like. Okay, here comes this guy. There's one lonely guy. Oh, two guys. Pretty sure he sees me. Bam! Dead. Just like that. Bam, dead. Just like that. So, this is actually an achievement to get through the game without killing anybody, stuff like that. Um, some people like that, some people know. Um, it depends on the route you want to go. I'm going to play my way. I like playing both lethal and non lethal. So, I'm going to kind of mix the two together. I, I'm not actually an achievement hunter as I used to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this just for a second. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the restroom. I'm going to do that little cut thing real quick. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm ready to go again. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Anyways, that's what we're going on about. I forgot exactly what we're going on about, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue heading through this treacherous area. Okay, that's how I look down the sights, alright. Although I'm not a big fan of looking down the sights. Oh, shoot. Well, that's already a bad start. Why is it not stopping redness? There's one more in there somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Ow. <laughs> Alright, that sucked. I kind of rushed into that, I think. Um. Well, I'd like to save. I don't even know where that would be. <laughs> but this game is quite unforgiving uh, when you do get spotted. I mean, you have to find a way to hide or something quick. If you don't, you will die. No doubt. doing this the exact wrong way. I'm playing it like Gears of War. <laughs> Actually, the nice part is, at least that's an option in order to play this game like Gears of War. Sorry, my text is going off again. And I think we should... Yep, there he is. Judson, thank God! Sorry about that, guys. Had another text. Girlfriend's panicky because of the plane, and you know I have to at least be nice enough to. Yeah, I have to do that. It's that's part of the boyfriend code. For those that don't know. Okay. So this is gonna be interesting. Four guys. Hopefully this guy doesn't see me. All right. This is friend Will. Alright. There he is. Okay. Okay, there's all four. Oh wait, hold on, he's coming here. Yep, here he comes. Hopefully he won't see me. Whoops. Camera angle just kind of went funky right there, didn't it? Go, 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 go. Oh, damn it! I wasn't supposed to do that. Alright. Oh, flashbang. Okay. Ah, he dropped like it was no big deal. Okay, was that it? I know there's one more. Where is he? Shoot me. Shoot me again. I can't hear it and it's not giving me any indication of where he could be. Hostile on the 
Ah, it killed me. Oh well. This is really hard to play without sound, guys. I'm playing this death. <laughs> Don't make call it the episode. To play death. Probably should plug in some headphones. When I'm lazy right now, guys, I just want to play a game. You know? Just want to sit down, play a game for a little bit. Oh, they must have saw me. Oh, shit. I didn't think they did. Alright. One's back there. I saw the other one kind of just fan out. There he is. Spray and pray. Oh, he's back there. No, don't kill me. Ha ha! Victory is mine. He's gonna punch me. Throw me against the wall. These kind of cutscenes I probably won't skip, but it's the other ones I want to skip because, yeah. And you can see how bloody he is, how pretty much next to death he is. Try to keep it under a five million budget, though, please. Don't want this to be too expensive. Thank God, I think it was a glass. Oh my goodness, everybody! Today has been a pretty long, boring day. It's gonna be like that for the next few days. So maybe I'll make more videos. Maybe not. Let's wait and see what's going on. Oh God, so bloody. Yeah, he's not good to me like this. Better for the search of the ERCC one crap. Ugh, take the message. But anyways, so you saw him get all bloodied up, so basically what they're doing is now is rebuilding him. Steady, steady. He doesn't need that. It's kind of like a movie entrance. I got the dog in the background. They don't even know what they're barking over, I don't think. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this because I want to play the game. I don't want to sit around and you know, watch cutscenes all day. Hope you guys don't mind. If you guys want to see the cutscenes, go ahead and watch them somewhere else. Um, or watch someone else play it, like a blind playthrough. This isn't a blind playthrough. I've played through this game all the way up until after you get back from China or Hong Kong. And that's when I stop playing the game. That's when I'll probably do cutscenes because I haven't seen the game at that point. But until then, I'm just going to play this game how I usually play it and just enjoy it. I'm probably going to get through this next little area and uh, probably just end the video there and work on the first mission after that. Adam, so here we are. David. Our HUD is you all blinky because our eyes aren't synchronized. The lobby. So we gotta go in the Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. This is telling me to go. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Talk to a guy. Meet me at the helipad. Yeah, this game is really difficult first. playing without wrong headphones. With my enhancement. I mean, I kind of knew it would Place be, on the but... Second floor in the tech lab. I don't Make know. That's what kind of makes it fun, though, you know? 
play a game different and just try different things. Oh, who's below me? Shoot. I do that sometimes. I forget that they're on the first floor or second floor. But yeah, this game is really good. Um, so make sure you guys either play it or check it out some more. If you guys want to see more of this, uh, go ahead and give me about, I don't know, five likes if that. Come on, guys. I need more likes. Hey, hey, that's what I want to see. It's more likes. That's why I haven't been making videos because it's like... I have 115 what subscribers. You get stuck Yet it seems like no one ever leaves a comment. On the way I need more comments, guys. Come on. Too, I'm doing this for you. I'm so not doing it for me. I enjoy doing it. But I mean, I what's the I point in doing it if you guys don't leave comments, talk to me? I need feedback from the community. I get like maybe one or two comments from people that comment on everything I make, which is great. Don't worry. But those are the only comments I get. What about the random viewers? Come on, guys. Give me some comments. Why does it have to be on something new? Why can't it be what I just upload? You know, I want to be good to you guys. I can't be good to you guys unless you tell me what you want. So... Go ahead, do that. I mean, I'll make more if I get more feedback, guys. I want to make more, but I need the feedback. This channel will die if you guys don't help out. It's just the natural thing. You guys need... You guys are part of my channel just as much as I am. I may be the one making the videos. I may be the one uploading the videos. I may be the one, you know, actually the one that's uh, doing all the work. But without the feedback, I have no motivation, guys. That's why I don't do a lot of videos. That's why I, I do other things. I go out. I go hang out with friends instead. You know, I go to, I mean, I go to class anyways, but I mean, that's what I do. I, you know, and if I have the choice, I'm going to do that over playing a game sometimes. And uh, it's been more recent than uh, often. So, I can't help that. And, you know, if I had, if I knew I had to make a video because my viewers demanded it, I would sit down and do it. I'd take in two or three hours and do it real quick, upload it, and then go. So, I need you guys to really, 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 really just kind of um, do that. Done here. Okay, so just leave your comments. Let me know what's going on. I'm not trying to be picky or needy or anything like that, guys. But my channel is you. You have to remember that. I am, I am just merely the person that uploads and does the videos. About you guys, I can't really make something that's um, entertaining because uh, I don't know if it's entertaining. It's like I make it, it gets up to about 50 views, and then yeah, I hear nothing. You know, it, it bugs me. It bugs me a lot, in Your fact. Um, about to turn this into I know I shouldn't just uh, go on a tangent about it, but at the same time, it's like, you know, someone's got to say something. Right? Okay, well, I'm going to move on. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do this first mission here for Seraph. I wanted to skip this stupid conversation, back, so I don't care. Then oh, I can space bar. Awesome. Uh, reassure. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is the first mission of the game where you actually kind of learn um, the stealth mechanics and how it works in general. So it's a lot of fun. Um, it's This will kind of be like how the whole game is when you see it. Of course, there will be more challenges as the game progresses, but um, this is pretty much how the game works Goes in general. By the name of so that's who I'm after. So an also, um, I've been playing Hitman Blood Money again, on and off. Um, I did, did some exactly Let's Plays of it. I did like two plan. episodes, I think. If you guys want to see what that game is like, go ahead and look it up. And uh, you can play it, or you can watch me play it. And you guys can see if you want me to do more videos. Because I've been kind of wanting to do more videos because I really, really enjoy playing that game. Um, so let me know. Let me check these lockers here. Oh, there's a little energy bar guys don't mind me I'm gonna check out these lockers get some painkillers all right open up the door Jensen, it's so me. now that I've done all that we're dramatic on. talking and you guys are probably sick of hearing my voice we're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to some real gameplay now so so this is real gameplay um, climbing down ladders so that's pretty much the whole game that would be terrible, wouldn't it? It would be terrible so, again. Climb down this ladder for I suppose you could try accessing Well, what's the objective? The oh, climb down the, the ladder. That really would be bad. That really would be. Alright. So let's go ahead. So we're around this corner. There's somebody. Alright. So let's see. Hold and press. So I want to kill him. Ooh. Dead. Alright. Pretty easy. Alright, let's go ahead and search him. Oh, hey, he's got some stuff. 
Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab him by the leg. We'll move him out of sight. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. He's okay. There. Okay. He's out of sight. No one can see him. We're good. Alright. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, remember, are you able to jump up here? Go down to here and crawl through here. Just like that. It's like I know what I'm doing, guys. It's like I know what I'm doing. So right now, one thing I don't like is not having a silencer. That's one of the main things I like about this game is the silencer. Kind of sucks not having it. All right, you see my little map on the left hand uh, bottom corner? That is basically telling me which way the enemy is facing and everything else I need to know, really. So this game is all about the stealth. I mean, they can literally see you if you jump out of corner just even a little bit. So you gotta be kind of uh, precise when you do something in this game. But that's kind of what adds to the fun of it. That's what makes it interesting. That guy might see me. Oh, I think. Oh, he's alerted. He's alarmed. He's curious of what's going on. He's like, I thought I saw something. So he's gonna go check it out. He's got his gun out. He's gonna come check it out. He's like, oh, God. okay, I guess it was nothing. Come on, look away. Look away. There you go. Now turn around. There you go. Okay. Do I have enough? No, I don't have enough room to knock him out. Fortunately, there's a guy staring right at him in the face. So we're gonna go ahead and sneak around here. And let's see. Let's go up this wall. Oh, crap. The guy's coming right now. Okay. I think I'll be okay if I take him out. We'll just go ahead and silently take him down. Alright, let's search his body. Take his gun. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab his body. Drag it out of sight. Okay, I think we're free to move in now. So there we go. We got past through that area without being getting caught. Get 500 Before XP you. just for that alone. Alright. So that's good. Okay. Looks like we're looking good right now. Alright, so we got a few guys in this room that we have to kind of watch out for. Anything in here I care about? Let's see. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Mm. I ate something spicy earlier, and it's kind of coming back up. It's weird. Still got the taste. Not a very good taste, either, really. Mm. Oh, well. All right, let's take a look around here. See what we can see from up here. Um... See, you can actually fire a bullet and kill someone and hide in just in time. It's just a matter of getting that just in time thing. Let's see if I can do it. Nah, probably not with that gun. Need my revolver. Be difficult. Eh. This thing's not looking so good right now. Let's see, can I make that jump? Oh god. Oh god. Okay. He's alarmed. He's like, what the hell's going on? Okay. It's like right underneath me, too. Right there. Okay. Sneak, 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 sneak. Hey, buddy. That did not work out how it was supposed to. That kind of sucked. It's like, hey, buddy. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Wrong floor. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to go ahead and continue on. 
keep trying this out different ways. I haven't done this uh, this little one in a long time, honestly. It's like basically playing blind again because I haven't played this in so long. Uh, so it might as well be a blind playthrough. Not enough energy. Not enough energy, you say? That's unbueno. That's not good. There's not enough. Oh, here we go. Now oh, we got enough energy. Knock him out. We'll bury him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, shit. Don't look over here. Don't look over here! No! No, 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 no. No, no, no. You don't see me. <laughs> Actually, this might work out for the better. I might be able to go around all these guys without even having to fight. <laughs> that worked out. That was a weird way to make it work, but I did. I did. Hey, what's up, bud? Wow. Ah, damn it. I swear I'm getting caught too much. Come on. Come on. Hey, shut that door. I think this is. Can't afford keeping doors open. God. Is he actually just sitting right there? He is. He's sitting just right there. There we go. Cleared out the whole area. I'm just that good, guys. Just that good. Aww. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Um, I'll continue the game later on. I'll see you guys next time. Go ahead and leave your comments down below. Like the video, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time.